Today we're back on site at the airport. This is day two of the fiber project that we have been working on. Today we'll be installing the cable between buildings through the pathway that was set up in the previous video. They're gonna, we're gonna set that reel over there. There's a string in it, flat rope. We're gonna attach this to the flat rope. Jordan's gonna go inside to that room and pull it through the conduit. You'll be out here with the reel, just making sure it all goes good. When he gets that string in there, he may start creating a big mess in there. If so, you'll go in there and help him. And then we're gonna pull about 15 feet of fiber in there. He'll have some paper towels, wipe it off, cause it's gonna be muddy when it gets it's, to that yeah, spot. That. And then if it's going all smooth, and, I, and this reel's coming off good, you can just jump in there with him. Uh -huh. And then okay. once we get it in there, we'll stop, we'll all regroup out here. We'll leave that, cool it up, get it out of the way. Got Jordan and Jim hmm. getting the fiber attached to the swivel, pulling eye. That's gonna that, be what uh, we attach to the flat rope. That what? That rash check. <laughs> what, which one? What's that? <laughs> oh, he, uh, you, you're trying to mic me up ain't so, yeah. on something, aren't you? Just got access to inside of the area where the vault is, getting the vault opened up. Got the reel here staged, ready to go. Getting ready to start pulling. Yeah. I'm going to go get a screwdriver to help with the assist on opening the lid. It's supposed to pop up once Jordan releases the, the latch, but for some reason it's not. So it might got a piece of trash or something in it. Got it? Got it? Oh, yeah, all it took was me to walk away and he'd get it. That's usually how it works, ain't it? Okay. <sighs> He's just waiting for me to walk away. Yeah. He's got in the sun. Yep. Go down in the, in the vault. Down in the hole. Jordan's on heading to the other side. He's going to start pulling this string right here, this flat rope. Hopefully the fiber that's attached to the flat rope, hopefully it pulls nice and smooth. We got Jim at the top of the vault. I may want to say professionally attached. Professionally attached. Let's see what we got when he gets going here. And we do not need a, a confined space permit for this vault because of the size. We double checked that and made sure. Is it pulling hard? Is it muddy? No, it's real smooth. It's a hell when you're beating, but it, it goes smooth. 10-4, I was wondering. I thought I was doing something by pushing him, but I couldn't tell for sure, so. All right, he's about to head in there. All right, that'll work. Uh, yeah, it was easier doing longer pulls and then coming back to Yeah. But yeah, it, it went real smooth. 10-4. Oh, he God. said he could feel it when I was pushing it. it made a difference? Yeah, he could tell that I was yeah, yeah. So he's got all the needs? No, he said if you could go in there, he's going to pull about 20 feet in there. He's got oh, the fiber. Oh, okay. All so right. if you, this will be good right here. Okay. He's going to pull probably what we got here. Uh-huh. And then we'll be good to go. That side door is open to that uh, hangar right there. Right there? Yes, sir. Okay. So he just called on the radio, said he had the fiber inside of the MDF in the new building. So Jimmy's going over there to meet him so he can help manage the slack and they're going to pull about 20 feet inside of the building out through the pipe. And then when they do that, we'll get all this fiber off of the reel. We'll figure eight it out here in this grassy area before we start pulling it to the MDF inside. Uh, put a little cable gel on there and it pulled nice and smooth. So, so far so good. It's a good start to the installation. Heading back down in the vault. Getting ready to, they're gonna pull the slack they need inside, wipe it down so it's not all muddy. Go from there. Feeding the fiber through the conduit. So far, so good.
10 4. Y'all coming out here after y'all get right in there? Yeah, we're going to uh, wipe this thing down good and tie it up. 10 4. He just called on the radio, said he had all the slack he needed. Wipe it down, cool it off, put it out of the way. Good to go. Jordan and Jim just called on the radio, said they had all the slack they needed inside. They're wiping it down, cooling it up, going to tape it, put it to the side so it's out of the way if any other contractors come in. Then they're going to come back outside. We're going to uncoil all this fiber, get it ready for the next leg. So far, so good. Should be good to go. What we're going to do now is pull all this fiber off the reel, figure eight it in the grassy area. Uh, I think we needed 400 feet, 450 feet total. This reel happened to have 607 feet on it, so we'll pull off what we need. Either pull it all in, cut it in the MDF at the main building, or we'll cut it off out in the yard and just pull in what we need. We're going to decide that once we get it all uncoiled off the reel and go from there. The weather could not be better. Blue skies, it's probably 55 degrees right now. No humidity. This job site, we hardly have anybody that we have to communicate with, so there's not a lot of people. Um, got some good scenery, got a, nice, a lot of nice planes, some jets. Got a smokehouse on site, it has a great buffet, barbecue buffet. Got two of our best techs out here, Jimmy and Jordan. Got some planes buzzing by. Couldn't ask for a better day on the job. Some days things work out like this and it makes the job enjoyable, that's for sure. It's all about having a plan, executing the plan, communicating with your colleagues, making sure you're all on the same page and you're all working the same plan. Some days things go smooth, not always. But most days, and planning is a, definitely a big part of that, making sure that you got a plan before you get to the site, discussing what the plan is when you, with all you guys, making sure everybody's okay. on the same I'll page. Okay, over there. When you get done with that, if you can hold that end right there where it coiled up, so it uh, snakes like this, I'll pull this tight. Right there at the, on the grass right here. Yep, that. Just get it to where it looks like the other. I'll pull this tight. That worked good. That worked good, didn't it? Yeah. That, that worked good. Nice. I, I told Jordan that day y'all spent over here digging holes. That day we spent over here digging those holes. Yep. That plan we talked about before we got here. Yep. Like I was saying, getting a good plan, communicating, having My the right people in place makes the job. My dad used to say. Smooth. Boys, before you start something, get your business right. That's right, you gotta get it right. Yeah. You could just come out here and start ripping it rare, and then you <laughs> got a mess. And then you gotta figure out how to get out of it. Jim, when you when you get a chance, can you put your foot right here on this? Jordan's down in well, that I, I just called Daryl Hamlin, and he's at dots, getting her a sitter. All that slack but, over but here. He, I said, fly over and have lunch. He said, I just may spot. do that. Let's see how it goes here in just so, a minute. Yeah. He's touching it right now. Uh, so, a page and Elizabeth's friend. Uh, uh, Jim. Yeah. Hold on, tell them to hold on. Hold on, man. Oh. Tell them to pull the other one. Pull the other one. The other string? The other string. That's, that's the one. <clears throat> Max L. Pulling this fiber through a max cell. We got a there's a three port max cell conduit in here. All right, hold right there. I'm gonna cut that uh, cut that blue that uh, blue tracer. You, oh, you got something? No, nah, I don't. I'm gonna get you some tools, Brandon. Yeah, work they with. won't get me nothing to work with. <laughs> all right, got the fiber. Now we'll just pull it all the slack over here. Get it right here and tie it off because it's go gonna go with it. You ready, Jordan? Wait a minute. Hold on, he's gonna get rid of this. <sighs> yeah, just tie. All right. I'm sorry, Brent. <laughs> Go ahead. 
It ain't, it ain't going the way it is. That's good. See, they, they put it, pulled it the other way. We would have had all this going through the mud. Oh, yeah, that, we've been wiping. Been yep. Oh, right there. You all right, Jordan? Yep, yeah, for sure. Keep on keeping on. Yeah, just, you... just watch that kink right there. I'm going to go pick up what he's got. You want to do that up in there? Is that what you want to do? Um, no, this is going to go back that way. But... Got the fiber pull to the next fault. Getting all the slack yeah. managed. I got you. We'll attach it to the string. You'll do this later. Pull it to the next okay. spot, which is the conduit. All right. Makes sense. Keep on working this smart. We'll be able to eat uh, lunch at a normal time today. That's good. Let's hey, you, could, you could if you had to. Uh, We'll just extend it on, we'll attach it to the other flat rope, pull it over to the conduit. Right, okay. We've I thought about I, I remembered it last night. I thought, uh, uh, I'm gonna go by and get it. <laughs> we would have made it work one way or the other, but Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Alright, pulling from the small vault over to where Jordan is and the conduit. Getting ready to pull through this max cell stuff. Hopefully this Come uh I'm I'm sorry. Can we get out there? Not yet. We'll okay. Wait till he gets going. Alright. He's cutting yeah, it. Yeah, I like rope. that max cell. Flat rope, he's cutting it and then he's attaching it to the rope that's coming from the MDF. He'll tie those together. We'll pull all the slack out into that next yard, stretch it out, and then the last run will be all the way to the MDF, which is on the second floor up there. The little hook works good, don't it? That hook's nice. Better than putting a rope. See how I flipped yeah. it down so nobody stepped on it? Yeah, good safety. Yeah, you got your safety inspector on site today. Yep, safety inspector, field supervisor. I know you will, but we'll just watch for any. If it tries to kink up, you know, we don't want to. Huh? Yeah. I'm going to go out there. Yeah, I saw it doing. Figured I'd regroup here. How's it pulling through that max cell? That's nice. We need to use that next time we uh, come into a scenario. Yeah, he's got I agree. the fiber. I agree. I never. I know. I've, we looked into it. We got shown it, but till you use it, you don't realize how handy it is. Yeah. I remember that guy came to the office and brought a piece. Yeah. About short piece. I, I, we didn't really see. I mean, yeah. seemed like a good idea, but like you said, using it. Mm -hmm. Now you see the benefit of it. Absolutely. The so next time you pull a fiber through this pathway, it's going to be an easy pull just like this. Yeah. You're not worried about wrapping that's, around that's, this. Yeah, it, it worked out better with a third person. Yeah. I mean, we could have done it, but it had been a lot of jumping. And yeah. Really want to we come wanted help you to so show bad. us how to attach that fiber to that strength, that flat rope. Oh, well, well yeah. Well, I mean, that, that was worth He's the got it uh, down he, to he the... Got, there's how much you got. What do you think about that thing? I think I like this. This one is a little bit different because you don't have but one sided, so you can't come yeah. over here and pull it. But yeah, and it's smaller. Yeah, and, and I'm on that grass right there. There you go. But this one, you go this way and then back the other way, and it stays right in that track too. Nice. Yeah. I, I know you've seen it where it falls in the hole. Uh huh. And then you fight oh, it yeah. by yourself too. I was going to ask you, probably, what's that uh, blue cable for? <laughs> Pulled in a Cat 5E, it's an old cable we had at the at our office. Pulled it in as a tracer wire. What's that hook you got there? Huh? What's that hook you got there? This is uh, to remove the lid off of vaults. It works really great. What's the name of it? TNT Tools. This thing is very nice. Yeah. Before we had this, yeah, go underneath we, those vault lids and put what some string. What we used to years ago was put a piece of string or a piece of cable and 
it just it didn't look good and it didn't work good. Hurt your hands sometimes too. Yeah, didn't yeah, it? well. That was mighty nice of them to put a conduit the whole way through a drop ceiling. I think so too. That's a big conduit. <laughs> I think that was a wonderful idea. Uh uh. Hopefully he's just regrouping. I hope so. Yeah. But we know it goes all the way. Yep. Felt like he just went through something, didn't it? He may have made him made one of them turns. Jordan's at the MDF side, pulling this fiber that we got looped out here at the conduit side. He's pulling it up to him. Should have about 30 feet of slack once he gets it. And then we've got another 20 feet out here on the vault side that will pull towards the new building MDF and leave it in there. That'll give us enough to splice on some LC single mode connectors uh, on Monday of next week. So today's Friday, we'll come back next Monday um, splice those on, label, certify, and wrap this project up. Is he at the, um, is he in the MDF? He's at the, he's at the junction box at the stairwell. You know what I mean? Right oh, down yeah. low? Oh yeah, he's yeah, right you showed there. me that, that's right. So now we'll just run it up on the, through that conduit to the pipe rack, uh -huh. and then extend it over. Oh, okay. 10 four. you probably got 29 feet out here. Hey, I'm good, Carl, how are you? Good. Well, Jimmy's I'm pushing fiber over business. here at the airport in Smithfield. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Can I call you back in a minute? Went through good. Now we go up to the MDF, extend it over to where the wall mounted fiber house is going to be, pull up the slack, leave it there for Monday so we can come up here and start splicing. Jim's got the conduit closed up. Well, we'll close up the vault. Upstairs in the MDF. This is where the, this is the main building. This is where the fiber comes from. It goes over to the new building. This is uh, he's up there getting ready to pull that last short leg. We just pulled it in from outside through the conduit. Now we're pulling it on the cable tray here. I'll give you a shot of that. There's the pipe it comes through. It comes right through here on this conduit. Hits that cable tray. Goes down that conduit, goes to that junction box. There's our slack, getting ready to pull it over. And the other end of that junction box is the conduit outside that we were just at. Daryl. 